Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie from Geeky Planning back at it again for another haul. I'm thinking of making these weekly only because I only have like four. I only have four shops here and I feel like it took me like an hour and a half. It took me two hours to film this. Um, I'm doing this after I've already filmed all of them. So I think I'm gonna make these weekly only because I have like six packages next to me and like five out for delivery um so i'm probably gonna make these weekly just have like three or four shops in all of them um depending on how large and in charge they are honestly i picked my most large and in charge for this haul but it's different so let me know what you guys think about having weekly hauls instead of like a five hour long monthly haul um also as per usual i'll have icons in the bottom left hand corner um just to say whether it was a pr order or if it was something that i did purchase with my own money just because i do like to keep a little bit of that transparency and you can thank nikki tutorials for that because i know she does have that for like all of her makeup videos and all that fun stuff um and then i'll also have like just a little like thing here with the timestamps for all the shops that'll be in this Haul, and then also they'll all be listed in the description box down below as per normal um but yeah if you don't mind the hot mess express also the naked nails i'm sorry my nails are naked <laughs> it's offensive i know i'm sorry um but yeah if you don't mind the naked nails the awkwardness that is me let's go ahead and get on to the rest of this haul video okay so the first shop that i wanted to show you guys is siren stickers um, and i am a pr girl for Eliza's shop so um just like full disclaimer this stack of items is stuff that I did purchase with my own money um but I did use my coupon code you can use Steph 15 for 15 percent off your orders and I use that one and I recommend that you guys use it too just because might as well you get like save your money on all of your stuff um and then this is all stuff that Eliza did send to me so I am going to start with stuff that I did purchase on my own um so really quickly these are the freebies for like all of the other PR girls so this one is my freebie um you get like a couple of little character stickers coffee coffee run a little square box and this is consistent like with all of the girls freebies is everybody gets a little squared off box in the bottom corner of their freebie and just a little package and then this one is marcia's freebie um so again the square box a couple of little like girl characters some icons and then a happy mail script and then you have emily's freebie and emily does have a youtube channel i'll have her linked in the description box down below a 10 out of 10 recommend checking out her like youtube channel all of the girls instagram all of that fun stuff just because like she is actually amazing um and then she has like a grocery run another like couple of little characters and some icons and like budgeting no spend all that fun stuff and then there's Kia's freebie. So again, the squared off box, family time, and then a bunch of little like icon scripts. And this is deco for one of the kids and it's actually super cute. And then this one is Beth's freebie. So it has like planning time, some like colorful icons, characters, $2 Tuesday, and some more icons and stuff. And Lauren's freebie, which I do have two of Lauren's freebie just because this was two different orders that I did place um, and just switch it the like PR code that you use to collect everybody's freebie because might as well um but it did come with like a squared off box movie night binge and then some little like characters and icons and stuff like that and then we'll get into the two dollar Tuesday stuff so all of these are part of Eliza's two dollar Tuesday deal so like these sheets were all two dollars a piece I honestly don't remember if you can stack coupon codes but I want to say you can use Steph 15 if you can't use it for like the two dollar Tuesdays you can for sure use it any other day um but it is Steph 15 for 15 percent off plus my freebie um so let's get into the two dollar Tuesdays okay so these are all the cheap two dollar Tuesdays that I picked up from Siren Stickers again Eliza's shop um and she had like a bunch of icons in like gold silver rose gold and hollow and also in black um so I just picked up a lot of them and you'll see a very like prominent theme of food in anything that i ever buy um so i did get these little like pizza icons this is in just the black no foil with a little bow on the little crest of the pizza so there's that guy and then i also did pick it up in rose gold hollow which her hollow is like a pixie dust kind of hollow it's more like a sparkly hollow than just a regular like flat hollow i guess you could say um and then silver and gold ah I can stop throwing all these around um so I did pick it up in like all four foils plus black and I tend to do that for most food things just because I'm more likely to use food stuff in all of my spreads so again this one is gold 
silver like hollow which is just like a sparkly hollow and rose gold which her rose gold is a little bit more like on the copper side than the pinky side um and then just black and then i picked up the cameras in black silver and gold and then the instagram icons in black the planners in black and she did have a couple of different options for planners i just picked up this one because that was the cutest one um and then the little trash cans in black the little forks and spoons in black and i like these just because if you don't have anything in specific to like mark what kind of food you got you can always just use like a fork or spoon to mark what you ate kind of thing um and then like a stand mixer situation perfect for baking little burgers in black and then again because this is a food i also did pick it up in hollow and can we just talk about how gorgeous like her foiling is it's actually super amazing um like there is no black dots on any of this so that's in hollow and then in silver rose gold oh i didn't pick up the gold boo okay so i need to go back and pick that one up and then i did pick up the phones in black the like silhouette cutting machine things in black the laptops in black hollow and this one does have a little bit of like foil dust on the side i honestly don't mind just because it's not on the sticker itself so it doesn't really matter to me um, but i just thought i would throw it out there just in case like i don't know it would bother you or anything um that's the only sheet that i've seen so far that has like little like hollow flakies in other areas um, but again these are the laptops in hollow and then i also picked them up in silver rose gold and gold and then the netflix i picked up in black silver and gold and then the books i picked up in black silver and gold and one thing i probably should have mentioned this um that i like about eliza's shop i don't tend to use hollow or rose gold as much as i do gold or silver so i like that i can pick up the icons in whatever foil colors i use the most like gold or silver mostly just silver and then also in black so i can pull it in to like spreads that i don't have the foil for it or if i'm just not going to use foil but also the spreads that i use the most foil for especially with the holiday seasons coming up i'm mostly going to use silver and gold for all those anyways so there's that and then the little taco icons in silver hollow gold rose gold and black and then the little dumbbells in silver gold black and then the youtube icons in silver gold ah, hollow and then the like filmy slates in gold silver and black so 10 out of 10 recommend checking out like literally anything from eliza's shop but especially like her two dollar tuesdays because this was a steal also she has it so if you spend more than like i think it's 22 dollars on any of the new releases so whether it be like two dollar tuesdays or like if she's in a group sale or like her friday new releases typically she has like an ultimate kit that you get sent to you as well um so i mean i would just recommend doing that because why not just get a free kit for buying stuff that you're going to anyways um and then also just again i do like that she offers them in black so you can instead of having to pick up the same sheet five different times you can just pick up black and be all set for that so that was the two dollar tuesdays and next i just have a bunch of like characters and icons still from saturn stickers um so this is the little like farmer's market sticker and it, i pick up i believe you can pick your paper choice for like all of the options in her shop so i usually just get premium matte for everything just because I, I personally like the print quality and premium matte like the blacks are usually super saturated and the paper is super soft um i would say it's comparable to like the designing san diego matte paper only because the like paper itself is pretty thick but like once you pick up the sticker it's like pretty thin like it's really only the backing that's thick and like the saturation is super great it's super like soft and buttery but it's not as thin as like creativity and ink odd loop station stickers like that kind of premium at paper um so i just thought i would throw that out there um but these are the farmer's market stickers 
and then there's like a little stewy character eating a little taco obviously like i picked up the taco two dollar tuesdays but also a character eating a taco because might as well um the like ice cream one and i like that this is three different sizes so it's like let me get a ruler this ruler is dirty but whatever it's fine um so there's like a one inch ish character a like three quarter ish of an inch character and then like a half inch character so essentially it's like um, half box third box quarter box sized um and i like the variety just because you can use like a half box in your monthly or like half box um like the large characters in your monthly spreads or in a half box in your weekly spreads and then you can just like use the smaller ones if you get your spacing wrong like i normally do um so there's those guys and then just like eating snacking watching tv there's like a bunch of little chips some like to go food boxes and then a little soda right there and then the stewie eating fries and this is so cute like this is gonna sound so random but this reminds me of one of like the try guys food baby episodes where they had all of the try guys coming out from the like box of fries i think it was like the mcdonald's one um but this reminded me of that and i picked it up because it's super cute and then there's just like a variety sampler because you can never have too many food characters ever um and then i did pick up like the budget variety sampler um the like not today ish type sampler so it has one like kind of like an uh like standing pose one like dead on the floor a different one actually dead on the floor and then one with little storm clouds on his head her head their head their head um and then this one's the like i guess shopping online shopping getting stuff delivered and then saving your money or like being happy that you can hear the coins in your little piggy bank and then this one's like a gardening sampler so it's like in a garden repotting flowers picking flowers and then like watering flowers and then just like little monstera leaf ish situations on like their own little jars on a stepping stool and then there's a little online shopping on his own sheet again with like the large medium and small characters and the delivery guys in large medium and small the like cleaning ones there's laundry like the clothes being folded putting clothes in the i don't know what it's called in english but like the thin the little where you like hang your clothes in the outside world that guy and then like um broom and a dust bucket situation and then just like carrying all of your cleaning stuff because there's billion and one things to clean especially now and then just getting groceries and like more on the sad ish this one's like screaming into a pillow this one's fighting his comfort blanket this one's i'm assuming eating snacks getting ready to go to sleep and then this one is giving the thumbs up i thought i was flipping somebody off but it's giving the thumbs up so it's just like a variety of different emotions in one sheet and then this one is just different on the couch poses so it's like sleeping on the couch sleeping on a different kind of couch sleeping on a bed and then sleeping on a other different kind of couch And then this one is like all of the crafty activity snacky snack situation so there's one drinking what i'm gonna say is coffee or tea or boba or literally anything you can pretend that this is whatever you want it to be um and then like eating popcorn on this little like beanbag chair drawing on the floor and then i'm gonna say this one's texting somebody but it can also be like playing a game that you like um like on your phone or something so there's that one and then i literally picked up this sheet solely for the stewie inside of the coffee cup situation i'm sorry it's that one this one's like studying super late this one's reading with this cup of coffee and this one i'm assuming is getting ready to plan um so there's that one and then this one is also just like studying with a little plant in the background writing in this little notebook you can also use this for like bullet journaling or planning because again there are no rules to anything so you can use any of these for whatever you want them to be and then this one's just sick with this little mask. I do wish that this one was more in like a variety of different colors, but also like I've now learned that that takes forever to do, so it's not super feasible. Um, but like, again, this one just has mask, coughing, all that fun stuff. This one is driving in his little car with his head popped out like a little dog. And then this one is lifting weights, exercising, being healthy human being. I guess not human being because it's stewy, but healthy stewy. And then this one is like happy mail ish so it's like hugging his mailer happy to have his mail happy to have like their packages and then happy to have little stickers in their hand and then this one's just like 
hobby-ish is what I would call it. So there's like one with the planner, one writing something down, one like laying down, drawing stuff on the floor, and then one reading a book. And then this is just like other random stationary stuff. So like reading as a paper clip with washi, crafting, and then different kind of crafting on a desk. And then more like self-care-ish. So I'm gonna say this one's like doing yoga or meditating. And then this one's doing a face mask. This one's taking a bath. And then this one, I don't know what this is doing. What is this one doing? Um, oh, this one's like supposed to be laying down with his like, with their book on like their chest because they fell asleep on the grass. Um, so there's that one. And then this one's super cute again. It has like the one with the stickers on it and then riding a bike. I would use this one for podcasts or you could even use this one for audiobooks. So I also wish this one was a single sheet. Um, and then this one just like with a little butterfly. This one would be cute to like mark if you have like a good day or anything like that. Um, so there's this one. And then this one that has like tired, studying, designing, working all night, that kind of fun stuff. It's like stressed, sweating. And then this one's like sleeping on their laptop. And then this one is like a different planning variety sampler. I'm gonna assume that this one is like the Stewie with his planner, Stewie with the pencil, Stewie with the book, and like reading, and then the Stewie taking his list or his planner somewhere else. So there's that one. And then there's also this one, which is like, again, Stewie like drawing on the floor, reading his books, writing something out, reading with his coffee cup, and then reading on a little bean bag. Um, so there's that, you can see a lot of repeats a lot of food a lot of hobby reading stuff i'm trying to get back at reading get better at reading more than one thing a day um or not one thing but like one page a day uh so there's that for all of the characters and then we'll get onto the foil and like other stuff that i got okay so these are all of the foil items that i picked up from siren stickers um so the first thing that i got were these like half box overlays and I don't know why I didn't pick any of these up in silver um but I did get like hollow rose gold and gold but obviously like she does offer silver because I showed silver when I was doing the two dollar Tuesdays um but there's that so this has like a like bottom half of your half box like confetti all around your half box confetti all over your half box and then just like a geometric type border um and it has two of each of those varieties in gold rose gold and hollow and again her hollow is like a pixie hollow which i thousand percent don't mind just because i personally this is taking it on like a whole different level um i personally don't think that hollow and pixie hollow should be their own separate things to where you would have like five core foils instead of like four core foils because in my opinion it's like rose rose gold silver rose gold and hollow in that order and then adding sparkly hollow onto it is just making it so you have to spend five times as much money instead of one time as much money but that's different neither here nor there um but again her hollow is a sparkly hollow and then i picked up the like confetti full box overlay situation i need to get better at like doing the wiggly wiggles as i'm talking about these um but it's just like confetti border all the way around in gold rose gold and hollow and then these are like the like star ish twinkly bits confetti full box overlay so it just has like the stars over the top and the bottom and then like the middle sides of the full box are like completely empty and again in rose not gold rose gold and hollow i don't know if i can say words hopefully that's showing the foil um but it's just for the exact same one and i like these specifically because you can cut them in half so if you have like a tall box you can just cut it in half put one half on top of the box and the other half on the bottom of the box easy peasy no big deal who cares kind of thing so there's that one and then the last thing that i picked up you'll see that i already used one of them is the like bottom washi variety sheet in rose gold gold and silver and this one just has like a confetti 15 millimeter strip a bow 15 millimeter strip and like a falling confetti 30 millimeter strip um and all three of the options do come with like the extra piece of like 1.5 wide by whatever like either 30 millimeter or 15 millimeter um just like in case you don't use like an Erin Condren or like as Andre of SPC likes to put it the Jasenia style of bottom washi where it would be like both 
both sides would be like the bottom washi all the way across instead of just like the Monday through Wednesday and then Thursday through Sunday. It'd be like Monday through Wednesday, sidebar, Thursday through Sunday. Obviously not in that order, but like whatever. Who cares? Um, so again, that's all of the foil that I picked up from Siren Stickers. And then these next few kits are ones that Eliza did send, send to me, send to me for being a part of her PR team. Um, and this first one is again on her beautiful premium matte paper. Um, and this is probably a better example just because it's on a bigger sheet of like how thick the paper is. But then like when you lift one of the full boxes up, if I could do that, it's like super thin easy peasy i also will say like i'm going to assume that this is the exact same paper as designing san diego just because um like a both of them had amazing print quality but also it has a very faint like almost like spray paint rubbery type of smell um so if you're sensitive to smells i would probably stay away from the premium matte paper um i keep everything in the cello so it hasn't gone away but I'm going to assume that if you don't keep your kits in the celloth like cellophane bags, then the smell will just go away as it like sits in air over time. Um, but I did just want to throw it out there just in case, you know, you were put off guard by getting a kit that smells like spray paint. But anyways, moving on. Um, so the ones that she did send me, the kits that she did send me were all in the like ultimate format and so when you get ultimate kits from siren stickers it does come with all the extras like any tall boxes girl boxes um like 30 millimeter washi strips glitter headers label add-ons any of that stuff if you get the ultimate kit it comes with literally everything so you really only pay for the kit and everything else is almost like a freebie but she also does have like smaller kits essential kits that range anywhere from like three pages to like five pages i believe and you can also pick up any of the extras a la carte so like if you bought an ultimate kit and you wanted to use it for two weeks you wanted to get a second set of glitter headers you can buy the second set of glitter headers um so i just thought i would throw that out there i also believe that she's going to be offering b6 kits um so if you're not in like a standard seven by nine planner um definitely check out her shop and she does have a couple of different options so anyways on to the kit formats the first page for like any option that you get um in the standard size is like the eight full boxes and then eight little bow headers um and i don't think she's come out with them yet but i should probably let her know that like i would love it if she comes out with like bow headers as an overlay so that way like you can use these and then just get like um like an overlay i'm gonna pretend that this is an overlay sheet of like headers in like the bows in all of the like different foil colors so you can just like match them up and put them on there hopefully she'll hope that eventually um but i mean if not who cares i'll still use the bow headers anyways um so this is the full box page and then this is the like header so you get a bunch of different like script headers some flags half heart checklists um like habit trackers and I like that she comes like it the kit already comes with four habit trackers so that way if you wanted to use it for two different weeks you can because you can do like two habits for two different weeks or if you just wanted to track a couple more habits than normal you can definitely do that and then it also comes with bow dues some like bow checklist flags and then some regular flags and I also did want to say like with any premium matte paper it feels because the paper is usually so thin it like it feels like the lines aren't cut but like they are cut you kind of just have to like finagle it struggle bust it a little bit and then they'll like come up hopefully but yeah they they'll come up like easy peasy they won't squeezy sometimes you just have to like pull the the paper back a little bit so it'll look like you're being super rough with it but in all reality like that's just how the paper comes up i don't know that was a bad explanation um but just thought i would throw it out there in case you're new to the premium matte world situation that goes for any shop like um creativity and ink station stickers odd loop um siren stickers I'm trying to think of other people that use premium matte paper candy art like pretty much anybody that i found that uses matte or not matte premium matte paper specifically like a unicorn buttery type paper you have to like bend the backing of the sheet back to get like the sticker that you want to come up if that makes any sense so there's that and then these are the like little things appointment labels and then like just blank washi strips 
and then your like habit tracker, some more appointment labels, a blank like clipboard box, two like full bow checklists, some patterned washi strips, and then two plain half boxes, and these are squared off half boxes. And then you get four rounded half boxes, four patterned rounded half boxes, four like plain rounded third boxes, four patterned squared off third boxes, four plain appointment labels, and then four plain like line appointment labels. These are like more flag appointment labels, and these are more line appointment labels, or like traditional, non traditional appointment labels kind of thing. So there's that. And then you also get like four different full box options for like any ultimate kit so you get like eight plus four gives you 12 full box options the weirdo square boxes thinner like not traditional appointment labels and then four patterned half boxes right here and then you get two different weekend banners some patterned flags a bunch of deco and then a bunch of like scripts so i believe the scripts have changed over time um so this one has thriller tuesday sleep in movie night laundry time grocery run family time me time coffee run clean the house binge watch binge watch binge watch um planning time and he releases more stickers so there's that one and then the like washi page which it comes with the 15 millimeter strips like already cut to be like separately so this is like one side of the 15 millimeter strip and then this is the like other side if i can pull it up um yeah okay so this is the other side of the 15 millimeter strip and then you also do get like the little extensions if you wanted to put this in your sidebar. You get the date covers, an extra paint swatch, some more like fancy labels that are patterned, and then some patterned flags. And I like that these flags are the width of like the 1.5, so you can use them either like horizontally or vertically in your planner. So there's that. And again, because this was the ultimate kit, it did come with little like check boxes, some squared off glitter border, third boxes, um, and then a bunch of different like girl boxes and so what Eliza does and I personally really like this is that um she for some of the kits she has the girl boxes so it's the same girl but like in different positions and different sizes so like if I pick and she also has them in like the different options that the artists come out with so like for example if there's five different options for girl boxes or um like sorry for like skin tones and like hair options then there will be five different versions of this sheet so like let's say I use this one and I use these two girls in one spread I can use these two girls in the other spread easy peasy lemon squeezy it'll be super easy to pull them in to like the same spread and not have it look like the same girl over and over again um and then it also does come with like these little like half box size deco pieces these are perfect if you wanted to stretch out your spread to like a hobonichi planner or like the print passion weeks um just because since these aren't the size of a like full box you can totally just pull this in if you wanted a little bit of extra deco or like that kind of situation and then these are the glitter headers the 30 millimeter washi add-on um just in case you don't like to use the two different 15 millimeters you can use just one 30 millimeter and it'll cover up like the entire bottom area and then it also again just does come with the extra like strip for the sidebar and then the label add-on that comes with like squared off third and quarter boxes and then some washi strips and then the like box i'm gonna call this like the hobonichi planner add-on just because you can use like these little pattern strips if you're in like a Hobonichi or a Propression or even a B6. Um, this will work like super great for that. And then like just more patterned squared off half boxes. And then this is the like giant double box, like the bottom half, bottom half, bottom third, bottom majority of this is like a giant, almost like glam planner style double box. Um, and then like the top part of this is just like an extra washi strip. So this isn't necessarily like two boxes wide. It's more like one and a half, one and three quarters boxes wide and then just with a washi strip. So that is the first kit that Eliza sent over. And like I mentioned previously, um, if you spend more than like $22, for any of the like sales um eliza does send or like the freebie for spending more than whatever the like minimum money after coupons before shipping um 
is like an ultimate kit and because I am a PR girl regardless of if I of if I reach that minimum or not she does send these to me so thank you so much Eliza for sending these over um so the first one is in her old premium matte paper this is more comparable to I would say like the RG paper designs oh my light just cut off a little bit um, but as I was saying, this is more comparable to like the RJ Paper Designs premium matte paper and just because it prints like a premium matte, but it feels like a regular matte, if that makes any sense. So if you order anything, I guess now, her new premium matte paper is this one, which I said was more comparable to the Designing San Diego one, just because it is like super smooth, soft, but it does look a bit thicker. So there's that. But again, these are the full boxes that come with like the eight bow header situation. Um, and then this is a smaller kit format, so it comes with like the three heart checklists, some headers, some fancy labels, and some little things. And this paper, yeah, it's like relatively thin. It's not like as thin as like unicorn premium matte paper, but it's also not as thick as like some glossy papers can be. So I personally really like that. And then these are the like half boxes so you get two plain two patterned two plain like third rounded boxes two patterned like squared off third boxes and then four different appointment labels some bow flags some like non-patterned flags habit trackers and then like a weekly checklist and a regular checklist bow checklist situation um, and then you get all of your different deco pieces some patterned flags two different weekend banners and then a bunch of different scripts and then again, you do get like the four different full boxes to get a total of 12 with like these two pages and then the weirdo square boxes, the patterned half boxes, and then like the more straight line appointment labels. And I love all the little ice cream cones. Like we love ice cream. Definitely gonna use that box. And then you get the two different washi strips, both in 15 millimeter and then the like date covers, flags, and fancy appointment labels. And then again, she did send over the glitter headers, the like extra girl boxes, and I love the different skin tones that are on here. And then this was just like a journaling card that came with my order. And this feels like it's printed on like a photo paper, not like a super thick like card stocky journaling card, but I personally like this just because it is on the type of material that you can write on the back if you wanted to which i like that because that's how i stick them in my planner um so there was that one and then the last kit again that was sent to me because i reached pretended to reach the order quantity or limited minimum quantity um she did send these out and this is on her regular matte paper um and her regular matte is oh i'm picking up two different sheets is a little bit like thinner just all the way around like the backing and the sticker itself is thinner and it feels like starchier if that makes any sense I don't think it does um, but it is her cheapest option 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 so if you're a planner on a budget I recommend this one if you want to splurge a little bit all the way through 10 out of 10 I recommend premium matte paper and I think I just said that entire thing out of frame but whatever it's fine um so these are the like different like shorter girl boxes so you get like two different girls the girl showing her tattoo and then the back of one of the girls and then she also did send the glitter headers the 15 millimeter just like blank strip and then the tall box options and this is using artwork from coffee doodles on etsy and if we can just have a round of applause for um coffee doodles i don't even know if her name is still coffee doodles on etsy but on instagram her name is coffee doodles i'll have her linked down below and she and kittenish jess have both just been so inclusive with all of their artwork that they've been coming out with recently so just props 10 out of 10 recommend just buying anything from anyone with their artwork specifically from siren stickers but also just from your favorite shops um so there are these tall girl boxes and then again you have like the eight boxes and the bow headers the like script headers, um, bow flag checklists, regular flags, habit trackers, um, half heart checklists, bill dues, and other flags. And then you get the little things, blank strips, appointment labels, that fun stuff. I don't know why I can't think of anything right now. Um, the like patterned appointment labels, half boxes, washi strips, clipboard box, two like bow check boxes, and one weekly ombre. 
and then you get like a quote box i love this double box is there a double box in like the regular oh there isn't so like if you're not a fan of the double boxes you can totally just use like all of these here and have it be okay but if you like a double box like me you can totally just use these or like if you wanted to use a double box but like let's say you use these on like friday and saturday and you had a lot more to do on saturday than you did on friday you can just put like an extender box there and then just add another box on the inside to use all of the ones that are available um so there is that the appointment labels the squared boxes and then the like squared off half boxes also i don't know if i mentioned this but when i call these weirdo square boxes it's because kalo fine and kalo calls them that and it's just stuck in my head like there is no other name for them they are now just weirdo square boxes also her name is Kristen, not kalo and i just realized that i called her kalo of fine and kalo but it's Kristen of fine and kalo sorry about that um so there's that and then just the variety page of like um two different half boxes, third boxes, and then appointment labels. And all of the appointment labels are the squared ones instead of the ones that have the little flaggy on them, which I personally like, but it's all just personal preference at that point. Um, and then you get the deco, pattern flags, weekend banner, and a bunch of scripts. And then the bottom washi, which the add-on was a 15 millimeter instead of 30 millimeter. So you can totally like use this one in place of like the like oceany one or the flower one or in place of the oceany one and i think both of them actually look super stunning so there's that and that is everything from siren stickers 10 out of 10 recommend checking out eliza's shop honestly this could have been a haul all on its own probably won't be but we're just gonna go on to the next shop and again you can use staff 15 for 15 percent off your order plus my freebie which is this guy like how cute is it or honestly just check out all the other pr girls they are all sweet and amazing human beings and just use whoever's pr code gives you the cutest freebie because what else is there to do in life so there is that and then let's move on to the next shop And the next shop that I have to show you guys is Creativity and Ink because honestly, would it be a geeky planning haul if there was no Creativity and Ink somewhere in here? Um, so 10 out of 10, recommend checking out her shop. It's on Etsy, Creativity and Ink and her Instagram because Angela is actually like the sweetest human being on the planet and she did change her journaling card. If you've watched any of my like other videos, I always pull out like one of her journaling cards and I can't find any of them now. Uh, but like I used, I like love her journaling cards just because they are blank on the back. So like if you're gonna show anything that's clear, it's super easy to just like Put it on top of this instead of like on top of something else where it doesn't show how clear it is so i mean if you're gonna purchase from her just for the journaling card 10 out of 10 recommend also just because of how cute it is right now so there is that and this also does match one of the kits that she has actually let me pull it out really quickly that would have been smart to do from the beginning um do i have it in my halloweenish section i do not oh it's like this I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it but like the journaling card matches this kit and I'm so like hype about it ready for it all that fun stuff just because like that is actually one of if not well it's not my favorite because my favorite kit from her is like the I think my favorite kit from her was like the mashup of like princess at Har Hogwarts Hogwarts situation um but this kit is definitely like top five for sure without a doubt but also like everything that she comes out with is super beautiful and amazing so i don't even know anymore um but this is the journaling card that did come with my order and then one of the like freebies for this weekend um was like you get a little button for hunch like do the blank of the card um you get a little button for like any of the kits that you order so like i guess sneaky peek as to when i ordered i ordered like a monsters university kit the like teacup art kit and then like a peter pan kit so it did come with like the disney button for all of these and i love her buttons i don't know if you can still get them in her shop i'm just gonna be like highlighting everything that she's ever come out with um but like she did offer like little disney buttons and i love them so i love that like for this weekend's release whatever kit you ordered you got a matching like smaller button so i just thought that was super cute so there's that and then moving on to what i actually picked up um so she is doing these things where like for different kits she'll have like different freebies and stuff and they're on this like super gorgeous super beautiful like sparkly 
overlay situation. And I don't think these are stickers. I think they're just die cuts. Oh no, I think they are stickers. Either that or I just ripped this one. It's a sticker. Hold on. Hold the phone. Yo, this is a sticker. Okay, so I lied. So these are stickers and I can totally just stick them in my Disney planner whenever I get this set up. Um, but I did pick up the like Monsters University ID badges for Mike Wazowski and Sully. Um, and I just think these are super stinking cute. Um, and on that theme, on that train, I'm just gonna leave these like right here because they're actually super cute. And I have to remember to not stick those on anything until I use this kit so I can take cute Instagram pictures, um, but it's different. So for all the kits that I picked up, I did pick up the glitter headers a la carte, and I love that she just has two headers. I think I've said this many, many times, um, but like it's two headers on a like background situation, just because there's like to-do headers in the kit, or you can even pull in just like her foil sampler pages and just use like, for example, the hollow headers that come in the hollow foil sampler if you wanted to match it to the kit. Um, so there's that. And then if I didn't say it already, this is on her, like everything she offers is on a beautiful buttery premium matte paper and it's a very thin premium matte paper. So I would definitely compare this to like Odd Loop station stickers, paper candy art, like that kind of thin, like very thin, it for sure will not bulk up your planner type of premium matte paper. Um, but all of the kits do come with these like half cup header checklist situations in the coordinating colors. And then this. <laughs> This is actually like so stinking cute. And I feel like Angela has always been killing it with her new releases, but like these past couple of new releases that she's had, she's been like killing it even more to where I like don't even understand. I can probably dedicate an entire planner solely for Angela's kits. And that's what I'm gonna do in my Disney planner. Um, but I mean, not solely for her kits, but like I feel like her kits, because I have so many of them, is what inspired me to want to get a Disney planner. And then I did it, but that's different. We're not gonna talk about her until like later this year or next year, maybe, I don't even know. Um, but these are the full boxes. So what I like about her like style in the way that she uses the artwork is that she does have a couple of pieces of clip art, but she also foils like on top of the clip part and add adds to it and then also just has like boxes that are just straight up foil and it's my favorite thing on the entire planet especially because her hollow is so like sparkly rainbowy like look look at that look at that rainbow shift like what else what else is there um so this is i'm gonna assume or i was gonna say i'm gonna assume that's your acceptance letter but no it's not because it literally says scary games challenge one and has little paper clips and mike wasowski and then the like four different i guess sororities monster rarities whatever it is um for the ones that were competing in the games and you have like a little like keychain that says how do i become a scarer the like little books and like teacher cup and apple with the monsters inc like symbol and then like the monsters university scare student with sully and the paper clips and then the sully backpack and i love this and then um this is like i act scary but most of the time I'm terrified, I think. If that isn't me in a sticker, I don't even know what is. Um, but those are the full boxes, super gorgeous, super cute. And then all of her kits do come with the like six different types of half boxes, nine different types of quarter boxes, um, two different like thinner squared off quarter boxes, and then two different like thicker and thinner fancy labels. And then these like weirdo square boxes but these are smaller than i guess the typical ones just because for size reference if i could pull it out these are the ones from siren stickers and then these are one of the ones from creativity and ink and i love just all of the weirdo square boxes so much um they're so cute so 10 out of 10 recommend using those if you pull any of her kits pull buy any of her kits and use these in her in your spreads so there's that and then the second page comes with to-do headers so again one of the reasons that i like that her headers only come with two is that you can use like two like hollow all-out headers and then just pull in the to-do headers and then you have enough for your entire spread um so that's one option and then you also have like the weekend banner, um, like scripts, icons, flags, some like third boxes, three different habit trackers, and then a like weekly ombre, ombre hair checklist, and then again the to-do headers. 
and then the other foil page in the kit is the like bottom washi type situation um so you get the bottom washi date covers some washi strips some bow washi boxes and then two different bill dues and i love that there's just bows sprinkled throughout all of this so there's like bows there there's bows in the bill due um there's bow in like all of the icons so we can banner the other flags the like scripty situation um yeah like i just love 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 that there's bows everywhere so that is the monsters ink kit and then the next kit that I got was the Peter Pan inspired artwork situation. Um, so again, it did come with the like, or not, it didn't come with it. I picked up the glitter headers a la carte. I don't even know if I can call them glitter headers because theirs isn't glitter, like the pattern, foil headers, they're foil headers a la carte. Um, and then it did come with the like three heart checklists. And again, how stunning are these full boxes? Um, so there's like the mini, like mouse attraction i'm assuming this is the mini mouse attraction series because there is like actually mini mouse and then backpack and then like a couple of other different clip ready pieces and then i love 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 how she did the foiling as their own pieces here so you have like peter pan and all the kids flying to neverland and then peter pan and wendy tinkerbell with her little like fairy pixie dust and then like the clock big ben i'm assuming that's big ben honestly I haven't seen Peter Pan in a million years but I'm definitely going to be watching it whenever I use this kit and then there's just like a little sprinkling of clouds and then the like I don't know if you can see this but the like clock in like hollow overlaid on top of it it says second star to the right and straight on till morning and I just think that is super cute hopefully you can see that at some point in my shifting it so there's that and then again, you do get like the half boxes, quarter boxes, fancy labels, squared off labels, weirdo square boxes, all that fun stuff in all of this. And then you get like the weekend banner, scripts, flags, icons, third boxes, um, habit trackers, weekly ombres, umbrella checklist, and to-do headers. And then you get the gorgeous, stunning, beautiful, bottom washi like what else is there to describe it and I love how this is like a cloud pattern and then this is like the little stars in the background it's just gorgeous beautiful all of the wonderful things on the planet um so there is that one and then the last kit that I picked up was the teacups artwork she released this like forever ago when the actual like Minnie Mouse magical attraction um thing came out I guess so I'm honestly not 100% sure where my camera cut me off at just because she did cut me off um but I was saying that this is the like Minnie Mouse attraction and Angela of Creativity and Ink had this kit like forever ago when the attraction series was actually like not timed but yeah like at the time when she released this like every month or whatever um she had it and I didn't buy it just because the Minnie Mouse did scare me um but I bought the like washi tape that matched this like artwork and so I was like well if I bought the washi tape I might as well buy the kit to match it so I can actually use the washi tape in one of my spreads just because like what else is new like I'm gonna try to pull all of the like Minnie Mouse attraction series tapes into basically everything that I can because they're super stunning super gorgeous beautiful as always um and again as per usual I did pick up the like foil headers on the cart because I mean why not what else am I gonna do so there's that and then the like three card checklists and then these are all of the full boxes and I love all of the rest of them it's just this mouse scares me like I don't know what it is because none of the other mice have scared me I think her bow is super huge <laughs> but like I won't be pulling her in but I'll definitely be pulling in all the rest of these and this like backpack is super cute a1 beautiful perfect all that fun stuff um so there is this like the full box page and then the like half boxes quarter boxes all that fun stuff and i do like that she pulls in like the patterns like this was a pattern behind these four boxes and i like that it's also in here so like on a day that you don't use one of these boxes you can totally just pull in one of these and it'll kind of bring in the pattern make it more cohesive throughout the entire spread kind of thing so i definitely love that part and then you have like the two headers weekend banner scripts icons all that fun stuff 
and then the bottom washi like again stunning gorgeous and i love how like there's a blue version of this pattern just going behind all the date covers so that is everything that I picked up from Creativity and Ink. 10 out of 10 recommend checking out Angela's shop. Also 10 out of 10 recommend picking up anything that she has with this like glitter overlay situation just because it's so stunning, so cute. And honestly, like it looked sparkly in the pictures, but it looks so much more sparkly in real life. Hold on, let me, let me pull up the flash on my phone really quickly. Like, hopefully this will show, like, just how actually sparkly it is. If not, it's just going to make this so much worse. Um, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 recommend checking out Creativity and Ink. Um, and then let's get on to the next shop. Okay, so the next shop that I have to show you guys is Rose Colored Days, and this is my like mystery, not even a mystery because she announces what it is before she ships it, um, but the subscription, and I'm not gonna lie, this is the only one that I'm not the biggest fan of, just because I am like the exact opposite of a traveler in any way, shape, or form, um, but this is Wanderlust themed, so again, I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy creativity and ink journaling card, um, just to show like the journaling card that did come with the like subscription so it does say wanderlust and the noun a strong desire for or impulse to wander or travel and explore the world and i think this like journaling card is absolutely stunning but i don't need an entire roll of airplanes if that makes any sense um i don't know i'm debating if i want to keep this or not honestly somebody might see this in a rack bag at some point in time um but these are the like extras that came with it so these are the four different like full box overlays all in hollow and then these were the like airplanes that came with it so you get like medium tiny and then bigger medium i guess unless all these are the same size small and medium um types of airplanes and again all in hollow i almost thought these were silver but no they're hollow they're shifting they're hollow and these were all of the overlay tapes. So honestly, or we're just gonna we're just gonna go through them. Um, so this like top row is the full box overlay tape. And again, as per usual, Lauren is the creative genius that makes it so you can have multiple full box options in a roll. Um, so you get three different options all on here. I have this upside down, um, and then you just tear it easy peasy lemon squeezy and it just comes off just like that um i don't know why i tore it because i probably tore it because i don't really like this one but it's fine um and then this is probably the only roll that i will keep just because this is kind of a mix between like taupey and spc rose gold um and it's just super like plain border type situation you get two different options for this one which i like just because borders are so plain and simple there's only so many ways that you can I guess remake them and I go to smudgy on these when I was unrolling these um so there is those guys and again that was like the 1.9 inch height and then they're perforated at the 1.5 inch mark and then for the bottom washies this one is the 30 millimeter strip and it's perforated to be the small and the large like left and right side of like the Erin Condren I don't want to say her name because I don't support the planner brand but like Primpression, Just Sunny Planner and inserts like or Estelle cross press inserts all that fun stuff this is perforated to be the left and right side but also the perforations are so small that I've used this without using the perforations like I'll just cut it with like a knife or something and the perforation will be somewhere in the middle and you honestly can't even tell the difference so love that and then this one was the 15 millimeter strip which just has like the airplanes taking off and then going back home I guess just like over and over again in hollow if i didn't mention the 30 millimeter strip was also in hollow and then you have three different header options of hollow the like taupey rose gold and silver all as header overlays and again i'm not the biggest fan of this one i don't need headers of just airplanes over and over again so i'm still debating if i want to keep this one or not honestly the like i'm leaning more towards no but 
but yeah, I'm just, I'm just leaning more towards no. I might just keep this one, and then somebody might just get these in a giveaway or something because I don't travel. I'm scared of airplanes. I don't want to die. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Especially not right now. I mean, I know, like, obviously these had to have been put into production, like, long before the Rona, or at least I'm assuming long before the Rona, at least, like, January or February before it got, like, super big in the U.S., and the U.S. is just the dumpster fire, but that's fine. Um, but... I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably not gonna keep these. I don't be a negative Nancy because I love everything else that Lauren comes out with and I've like raved about every other sub that she's ever done but just for me personally I don't travel like every other planet girl on the planet so there's that. So let's just move on to the next shop. Okay, so the next shop that I wanted to show you guys is Scribble Prince Co. So I have this order and then I also have the mystery waiting to be the last thing in this haul. And that's the July mystery, not like the most recent one. Um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so um, you'll see that there is a TN Deco inspired kit in the background of this. Actually, let's just talk about her first. Um, so I'm just going to put these two on the side. These were part of my order. Um, let me just take this out of the cellar really quickly. So again, you will see that this is a TN Deco inspired kit and I currently don't use a rings planner, um, but I'm really hoping that for one of the Aura Estelle sales, pre-sales, whatever it is, whatever the next one is, um, I get a pink version of the planner. Not like the flamingo pink, but like a blushy pink version just because I really want to use this kit in a cloud. Um, just because the theme is planner heaven and i feel like everybody talks about getting planner heaven in the cloud and i'm ready to get to that stage in my life also because andrea of spc um did make this like card piece to fit right in between that like card slot in the cloud which i thought was super cute um so there's that and then it also did come with like a bunch of little die cuts so you have like clouds stickers like vending machine thing swan in a cup bow tns unicorn cloud a bunch of gems like simply gilded washi more clouds more gems paper clips silver stickers uh, like a pen bag with a bunch of little pens and then a bunch of actual like random pens bows and gems so that's everything of like the more deco e pieces that came in it and i'm scared to move these from my desk <laughs> um and then it also did come with like a gold gem acetate situation i don't this is my first ever tn deco kit situation from anybody's shop ever so i'm not super sure what all of the like phrasings for these are um but there's that one and then you get like double-sided page different double-sided page and then other different double-sided page so you get like six different papers in a bunch of you get six different papers in like six different patterns but you get two of each pattern because it's double-sided if that makes any sense um so there's that and then you also get the same like gem acetate thing in silver is it this way or is it this way i think it's this way i honestly don't even know um but yeah so i picked this up just because i thought it would be really cute to have this be like the theme of my cloud or whatever a5 wide ring planner i decided to get and then also have the planner heaven kit be the first week in that planner i don't know you'll see that be a recurring theme for i did buy a print impression a5 wide not the rings but like the spiral bound planner to be my disney planner and i also picked up and regular weekly kit um to use those as like my setup for the print impression rings planner just because it is so blank and empty and it's just asking to be decorated i'm so ready for it um so there's that let me just put this back in the cellar because i'm terrified of getting all of these like sniggies and, like on the floor i'm losing them all okay so moving on to other things that i picked up from school prince co all of the freebies in this order was this beautiful beautiful journaling card of the like two uh, different girls be more inclusive black lives matter all of that fun stuff um and it's just like standard blank on the other side and i am so bummed that i got this after um 
my Black Lives Matter spread just because if you didn't see that I did like take just a regular black journaling card with a silver bow from School Prince Co and on the back I did just put a quote on the back of it but I feel like this would have been so much better to include in that actual spread but it doesn't matter because I can just put a quote on the back of this stick it on any spread and just remember that black lives still matter every single day doesn't matter what day it is doesn't matter what year it is they're still gonna matter um so yeah there's that and then other freebies that came with this were the like black lives matter and juneteenth like sticker situations and i love that she was including these um like i need to put these back into my planner and then this was also a collab with plan her paper um so you get like a tall girl and a like smaller girl trio set of better together and i love this super cute super gorgeous love that um andre of scrubble prince co included these in all of her orders and then I also did get Kirsten's new freebie. So it just has dream hard, work harder, a little like bow box, and then payday, laundry, and work. And I believe that Andrea like discontinued the PR girl discount codes, but you can still use like either the Instagram one or like SPC Love. I think SPC Love is 15% off $50 or more. Um, and then you'll just get a freebie when you use either of those. And then this was also a freebie from the like for my order this is like a rack bag and it's more of like a cohesive type rack bag so it came with like a sparkly hollow gold a gold sparkly hollow gold sparkly gold hollow hollow gold sparkle i don't know but a gold sparkly hollow ish um like icons weekend banner flags deco and like little faces and then a 15 millimeter washi strip it's like flip the other way just flip all these the other way um also like little fishies um like weirdo square boxes icons checklists flag and two little bows um like sidebar stuff more icons flags and appointment labels and then all of this gorgeous deco i feel like if i were to get anything for a kit like i don't even really think i need the full boxes i don't even really think that i need the full boxes i think that like just with the deco and a couple of like the more colored pieces for the kit we would be all set a1 100 percent good on that front um so there is this one and then it came with like little things blink washi strips and then um appointment labels so there is all of that and i love 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 that these are the freebies now and i feel like this came in a cello that wasn't opened and i lost that cello is it here it's right here oh yeah literally it says girl prince go misfit rag bag um so i love this 10 out of 10 will be using this in my disney planner whenever that comes here whenever i start using that as like a leftovers type spread because i love doing those those are like the most creative types of spreads i love them 10 out of 10 recommend you doing them in whatever planner that you use um so there is that guy and then i also did pick up two of like the munchkin scroll prince co collab lgbtq pride munchkin vinyl that's what vinyl um and i had plans of putting this on my water bottle but as you can see my water bottle has taken up all of the space um so yeah i will have to buy either another water bottle or get rid of some stuff and put it here honestly this will fit like pretty perfectly over the dwight you ignorant slut but dwight you ignorant slut it's like iconic in the office um so there's that and i did pick up an extra one of these just to throw in a giveaway that i will host eventually i have everything for it i just need to actually remember to host it um so there's that and then i also did pick up a 15 millimeter um a 15 millimeter like washi grab bag um, for like misfit washies and all that just because like it was only two dollars and honestly like i 10 out of 10 recommend anybody doing this if you like having split bottom washi if you don't like having split bottom washing there's no reason for you to be buying this um but just because like it's super easy to just pull these into whatever spreads there's like a light pink a like mauve gray color a hot pink um a like doled out navy blue a like full on navy blue a, like olive green color light blue a like dusty purple and then a like super light pink um so yeah just 10 out of 10 recommend picking these up because it'll be like easy peasy limon squeezy to just pull these into any spreads like literally like that would look gorgeous 
as is. You can probably find one for any spread that you're ever trying to do. And then the more you pick up of these, the easier it'll be to find washies for your kids, you know what I mean? Um, so there's that guy. Actually, we're just gonna leave this guy right here. Might as well, we'll put him at the top to just show that we love everybody all the time. Um, and then, as I mentioned previously, hopefully I mentioned this previously, um, I did get the SPC deco kit because I thought it would be really cute to use the deco kit and the matching weekly kit somewhere in my first week of whenever I get a cloud or any sort of ring bound A5 void planner. Um, I keep doing this, not on the way. Um, but these are the full boxes and I love when I saw this for Andrea's six year, like A props to six years, like queen all the way around we love her um but like when i saw this then i saw the price and i was like yo that's not worth it i'm not gonna pay a hundred dollars just for one thing that i like um so i waited till she brought the kid alone onto the shop and i am in love like this is by far my favorite scribble prince go kit of all time like all time um so there is like the fashion girls, the planner piece this way, um, a like bending machine of stickers, a store, and then a couple of different like flat lays of different sticker stuff, Polaroids and gems. And then you get the gorgeous, gorgeous deco. And I love that this deco is a little bit more like large and in charge kind of situation. And these muted colors are just, I love them. I love them. And then I have a weekend banner, um, the like bow clip. This is an older format, so not like I think this is two or three formats back um, when the weekend banner was still on this side instead of over here. So there's that. And then you have like sidebar stuff, icons, flags, um, what are these habit trackers, all of that. And then you have the extra full box, some like checklists, payday, bows, weirdo square boxes, um, squared off half boxes, and then the large icons. And then the like little thing, not little things, I read the word little things, no, um, the like word scripty headers, that's how old this one is because it still has that. I'm saying that as it's only like three or four months old, but whatever, it's fine. Um, the like appointment labels, um, and like pattern washi, I don't know, I can't think of anything. Um, little things, I almost said straight washi, it's not what it is. Plain washi, solid washi, solid washi. Um, and then the solid appointment labels. And then the like half boxes, quarter boxes, bill dues, other labels, book labels, and then the Aubrey Hart checklists, and the bottom washing. Gorgeous, stunning, love as always. And then I did pick up the like fashion girl add on. I love her. I wish she was a tall box, but I will also use her as a tall box. Like, gorgeous, stunning all the way around. Um, and then the 15 millimeter washi strip, and it did come with the munchkin head for Reedy. And that is everything that I picked up from this order from Scribble Prints Co. And then let's move on to the mystery kit. So this is your only warning. If you didn't want to see the July mystery, thank you for watching all that fun stuff. Get out of here. But if you don't mind looking at the July mystery from Scribble Prints Co., keep on watching for the next like two minutes. Okay, so the last item in this haul is the Scribble Prints Co. July mystery. Um, and this is the journaling card and it's absolutely stunning. And these are the full boxes um and i think that the july mystery has been fall themed for at least the past like two or three years so there's this one and then last week there was like that fall obviously it's fall but like blue white orange themed one and the year before that was the one that had like the kid full box add-on situation um and i think they've all been so stunning like my favorite mystery kits for sure like just by theme has been these um so i hope that she continues this tradition for like now until whenever she decides to stop doing these in like 50 years probably um but there is this and i love these like she is me i am her i wish that i lived somewhere where i can wear a chunky sweater and no one will look at me like a weirdo for wearing a chunky sweater in like 90 degree weather in january but that's fine um and then like these little books the like just everything about this is so stunning and beautiful and i love it and just like i don't know all of the oranges i'm not the biggest fan of orange like as a color but orange in kits my favorite by far like not as great as pink because pink is like all around beautiful and amazing but like orange and navy are gorgeous 
beautiful like what else is new um so there's that and then you get like the two other boxes and i love this like i wish i could wear that as an outfit but i would be too terrified to get stains on that white shirt but it's fine um weirdo square boxes on her checklists and then four patterned square boxes and then you get all of the gorgeous, gorgeous deco. Um, weekend banner, the like third boxes, work labels, flags, canceled, and movie marquee. And then there's like the weekly ombres, the like half hour checklists, mini icons, flags, habit trackers, other flags. These are flag checklists, these are regular flags, and then the appointment labels. And then half boxes, quarter boxes, other appointment labels, the like non-book labels, bill dues, all that fun stuff. And these patterns are just absolutely stunning. Like I love, especially this one, like beautiful A1 as always. Um, and then the like patterned appointment labels, patterned washi, some like sidebar headers. Honestly, I personally think that Andre can get rid of all of these completely. Um, just because, not like the washi strips, but like the headers, just because I feel like most people, like I feel like 90% of people that I see, obviously they would have to have an Instagram or YouTube account or whatever, um, do like, or use SPC kits, really only use either like the work or the this week headers. Like those are the only ones that I've ever seen people use as of recently. Obviously things have changed just because of like, you know, the Rona. Almost everybody that did pre-planning and functional planning has stopped and went on to memory planning. Um, but I feel like that's kind of going to stay even after all of this is over just because I think it's more fun because it looks more beautiful in my opinion because it doesn't have a bunch of stuff scribbled out and white out, train it right on white out, putting canceled labels on anything. Um, so I honestly think you can probably just have one row of these and that'd be like perfect and fine but obviously like to each their own some people still do plan functionally um so that's just my two cents that no one asked for and then this is like an older format with the little things that actually have icons and then the like solid washi and solid labels and then the bottom washi which is a gorgeous gorgeous plaid um plaid gingham gingham plaid i honestly don't even know what the difference is buffalo check i don't even know um and then the like date covers and I love, this is going to sound so weird, but I feel like I found a new obsession with like these like plain boxes and then just overlaying like even if it's just like a Disney quote or a Harry Potter quote or some sort of super cute overlay on top of these just because of how plain it is. It lends itself to that nicely and also you can just throw just a little bit of magic into all of your spreads because what else can we ask for? Um, so there's that. And then these were the like fashion girls that came with it. I love the tall box of like the non-human thing on it. Um, I guess non-organism because there's, I guess there's a tree in the background. I don't know, but like non-people, non-animal type tall box. It's just super gorgeous, super stunning. I won't use her probably, I probably will. I don't know, I'll probably use one of these too. And then I love all of these like vampire-y style full boxes, like, they're just so stunning. I'm like 90% sure this is Kitness Jess artwork and like the shadowing on whoever's artwork this is is just gorgeous. The details gorgeous. I love these because sometimes fashion girls look ugly as heck and their faces just look like not even like a face but obviously all faces are different but like I don't know. I don't know like the details on this are actually good details. Sometimes I feel like people try to put too much details that it literally just looks like a blob of stuff instead of a face it's different this dog is cute we're just gonna leave it at that and then it also did come with this book vinyl i'm not like i love this i feel like i would have liked it even more if it was actually like the same printing as the book on the sticker um so i'm not mad about it i actually kind of really like whenever she throws vinyls into these and then it also did come with the 15 millimeter strip the glitter headers and the like label add-on and the wiggle and the wiggle for this um kit was gold so like it came with the gold freebie and then gold with stars so it's like the stars the food boxes the icons the like not circle icons um scripts and my only complaint with the scripts is that if there can be five works like if we can just have the first five here be works that would be perfect honestly you should probably get rid of the date and keep date night or get rid of one of those and just put work somewhere there um so there's that one and then the like half cut headers headers and two different full box options and the bottom washi and i will say like i'm kind of both happy and bummed 
that the past couple of wiggles have been like just standard gold, silver, hollow, that kind of stuff. But I feel like this kit would have lended itself so well to like an orange, like a sparkly orange wiggle. Like I wish that the wiggles in the mystery kits were more non-traditional colors just because it's a mystery kit. Like make it more fun, add more sparkle, give it like a different... Thing, you know what I mean like I feel like that beach kit what made it even more amazing was the lavender hollow wiggle you know what I mean and I feel like this one would have been like throw a navy wiggle maybe not navy but like I don't know I feel like orange would have made been like really cool or even copper would have been really cool um but I don't know I'm hoping that in the future there's less traditional foil wiggles um but that's everything for this haul let's get on to the outro so that is everything for this haul video hopefully you guys enjoyed all of the like magical foil beautiful goodness that was in this haul and just a round of applause for the shop owners and all of their teams for putting out amazing things that make me spend all of my money because i mean without them where would i spend all of my money you know what i mean um also let me know in the comments down below if this made you want to purchase anything i would love 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 to know if my hauls make you want to spend all your money because i i mean i was i literally just watched a haul from lauren plans um she's one of the pr girls for planner ask and like a couple of other she has like coupon codes for a bunch of different shops and i love her hauls um and she ended it with like let me know if you guys buy stuff and i was like i'll let you know everything that i buy from your haul because you make me go broke and also like spc hauls make me spend all my money um so i just want to know if you guys also like to spend all of your money with me um in the comments down below and what you guys want to see besides hauls and plan with me's and all that fun stuff just because i feel like i have enough stuff to have hauls for at least the next like four weeks straight um and i'm really sorry about that i love hauls but i feel like seeing them every week without a different kind of video is sometimes a little bit not super fun so i don't know there might be a third day in addition to like the normal Tuesday and Thursday uploads for me. We'll see how I feel about them in some foreseeable, unforeseeable future, foreseeable future, unforeseeable because we don't know what the future entails, but that's a-okay. Um, but yeah, that is everything for this haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and as per usual, let's all just take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and repeat after me. I am human which means that we all make mistakes we all learn from our mistakes hopefully and honestly you learn more from a mistake than getting something right the first time because you now know not to do that thing um so just remember to be kind to other human beings and treat people the way you want to be treated and if you have nothing nice to say don't say anything at all like literally there's no need to put any hate and bad vibes into the universe unless somebody is an actual turd but it's different um also it's a very subjective thing to say but yeah um so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys